so let's go to the tool for the export application within the console let's go to the console this is the console let's call down that data export is a part of the tenant management so scroll down click on it export service so yeah so this is the dynamic page scroll down there is no spending tax by default with the dashboard you can see so if i click new export job it looks like this so it indicating that how many type of entity and how many relationship here is there you can toggle it based on your toggle you can by click entity these are the two entities in my uh, creation uh, a relationship these are the relationship is there lots of relationship is there you can just if you scroll down also if you can move it right or you have you can toggle it from top also that is also possible okay. so what you can do using this export service what type of entity type relationship type as a configuration as well as the value you can move out from the, your tenant or environment and you can reuse it in other location so what to do you just if you want only entity select it if you uh, interested only individual you can select it if you want all you can select all like that if you uh, interested only relationship for all you can choose all if you want to select only one so you can do that only one also possible it also possible and after selecting let's say uh, selecting anything you can click on the continue and it's so that selected out of this attributes you can select it you can if you scroll down some part have not selected because why it is not selected because some part is the core component so that part you cannot select so if I click on the continue, then it will ask you to provide the date range uh, because why it asking date range? Because if you change anything based on your date, it will be always come up with the filtering option. If you not select any filtering, then it is will be do like this. So this is called job definition. You can do any name of the job like that. Okay and there is a option for the export operation value so when you are exporting something you have pro it by default come up with few options like csv flatted csv folder json so let's click on it how it looks like see that same id multiple changes so all value will be come up see this one two three four nine this is the three entity and change the first name some car middle name but last name not change so that format you want or you want only one id with all those changes that part or you want json format so you need to see this you also have an option that all will be put in a single file so it also possible means uh, in windows say that you have a selected entity multiple entity multiple relationship you want to put all in a single uh, file output file that also possible if you select it otherwise separate entity type separate relationship file will be created and also if you want uh, some export operation value you need to do that operation value means exactly value current value let's say in your activities uh, four types of value is there I mean uh, first name is updated five times so if you want only current value the latest updated value if we select this export operation value it will allow you only current value if you not all value will be selected all value will be selected that's the point okay see this last name okay so after doing all your choice you need to run this if you run this one job will be executed and it will be uh, export 
the specific topics. Some cases it also send a mail to you uh, that particular uh, uh, job based on your uh, ID. Uh, if it is your student ID, then it will go to a student ID. You just need to download it on this one. Okay, let's move to the next section.